what I've got here is I've got a, a pair of these recotton. These are um, a wireless headphone. So this is the 900 megahertz transmitter. It transmits your audio source to this receiver that you can carry around with you and just use it with a regular pair of headphones and it appears that the receiver has a problem because I'm not getting any sound. I've got the headphones plugged in, but as you can hear, there's no sound from them. Now, if I bang it around a bit, it appears to come on. So. We have a problem in this receiver. So let's take the receiver apart and see if we can see why it's not working. Looks like it's going to be a relatively straightforward repair, a broken connection more than likely somewhere. Now basically these are just an FM radio, right? an FM transmitter and an FM receiver, but they're not on the regular FM band, they're at 900 megahertz. So you tune it with the tuning control, and when you get it tuned in, the stereo light will come on. Well, when it's working. Right now it's not working. It was just working a minute ago. Anyway, let's get this thing taken apart. We'll take a look and see what makes this thing tick. So we'll just remove the batteries from it first. And these units here, they should have a couple of screws to hold it together. Maybe one little screw down here. There's a hole in here. I can't see whether there's a screw in it or not, but there might be. Looks like there's one screw that holds this thing together. Here it is. Now it'll come apart. Got one screw right, right there. And that it should just it should just pop apart now. I would think. Unless there's another screw down on this other side. There's another hole down here that I can't I can't get at unless I remove the clip. I bet you there's one more screw down here, but I gotta take this, I gotta get this uh, belt clip off and I'm scared it's gonna break. Because this plastic is pretty old and plastic has a ten tendency to get brittle when it gets really old, right? There we go, okay. Now there's one more screw down here, so you gotta remove these two screws to open this unit up. And there's both different sizes of screws too. Now the unit will pop apart. As you can see, it's got a metal screw that goes in through here. And here's the antennas for this thing. Or is that, no, that's the battery wires. What the heck, the battery wires are broken off. Well, that would explain why it's not working. <laughs> How simple, this is the antenna. But here's your positive and negative battery wire. And they soldered down here and they've just come right off. Well, this is going to be a, a more simple repair than I had thought. We'll just uh, lift the receiver out, reattach the two wires to the battery terminals, and that'll fix this thing. I was expecting it to be a simple fix, but I wasn't. I wasn't expecting it to be that simple a fix. Here's where we use the the built-in strippers here for the for these Klein snips and strip the end of the wire. Wait for the iron to warm up here a bit, and uh, we'll reattach the battery terminals. And that should fix this thing. It'll be the fastest repair I've had all in, in weeks. You guys want to see what the inside of these things look like anyway, right? So basically, you have a 
tuning knob, which is going to be, which one's which? Tuning is this one over here. So this, this uh, it's a variable resistor. It'll just be a Veractor uh, tuner. There's no need for a, um, a tuning capacitor or anything on here. Just a Veractor tuner. Here's your, here's your front end here. And um, let's start the music again. Tape ran out. Um, just a Veractor tuner, and here's the little antenna and an amplifier. It's all single chip. Okay, let's put the uh, batteries in so that I can test it. There. Super source batteries. Receiver into the right frequency, the uh, stereo light will come on. And if I have this thing over modulating, it'll probably uh, distort. Yeah. So on the transmitter side of things over here, on the transmitter side, we've got a level control on the back, and you adjust it so that the light is not lit up. Because if it's lit up, it's going to drive the, the overdrive the transmitter and you won't get stereo sound. So you adjust it so that the light doesn't, just before the light starts to flash. Uh, and that indicates you're overmodulated. So you turn it down just to the point where the light's not flashing. And then the stereo light is on here. Might as well just check this thing out while I've got it apart, just to see whether there's anything else that's likely to uh, fail on it. Okay, that was an easy one. Why can't they all be easy like that? We'll just throw this thing back together and send it on its way. This is also client-owned. I say I get, I get a lot of these things in. Um, I have customers that have known me for years that I used to be the guy that you know, fixed all their stuff. So uh, I still get people that bring me stuff that you would normally just toss in the garbage, right? But I guess you you can't buy these things anymore. Now everything's all gone to, um, you know, everything you buy now is all Bluetooth headphones and, and uh, designed to work with your smartphone. But when you get people that have got their old legacy equipment that they want to use. Bluetooth speakers and and uh, Bluetooth headphones and stuff, well they don't do someone who's got a CD player any good. It might be fine if you got a smartphone but you know, uh, I live in a, a community with a lot of seniors and well the seniors are resistant to uh, technology changes so there we go it's fixed that was easy and it sounds good you guys might want to see what the inside of the transmitter looks like so just for just for the video we'll we'll pull the transmitter apart and take a look at what's inside here screws are probably underneath the feet here more than likely Yep, of course they are. I actually had a set of these yeah, recaught in, uh, I have the same transmitter. Um, I have the same, basically the same unit I've had for years. But mine, the um, I had the same transmitter as this, but the receiver on mine wasn't a separate receiver that you used with your own headphones. It, it was built into the headphones. and. It's, it, I think the batteries went bad in them. The uh, You plug them in, this is actually get the charge port. You plug them into this to charge them up. But um, what happened on it was the foam around the, the headphones all deteriorated. But they were a good product. I, 
they were the first RF uh, headphones that I bought and I uh, used them for years and they were great. Of course I, I now have Bluetooth so don't have much use for them. I got a, my TV's got Bluetooth in it as well. Okay here's the transmitter. Let's see if we can pop the board down and take a look at the business side of this. That's the antenna. We'll just Loosen that cable off there a bit. What the heck? We can put it back on. And I'm done. So here's the transmitter. So your audio goes in, it's just using a standard, um, was it, BA 1404, that's just a standard uh, FM uh, modulator. Well, this will be the amplifier over here. Right, this is the amplifier. And, um, and the modulator here. The antenna connects to it right there for the output. So that is going to, looks like that pin there. Anyway, that's the transmitter. Not much to it. It's basically a single chip solution, um, and uh, that's about it. I figured I'd show you this. Now we'll put it back together and reconnect it and test it and send it on its way. That's it. We'll catch you in the next one. A little bit loud, aren't I? We'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.